All right, everyone. It is day four. We are now on the final run of SF, but don't worry. It's an hour and a half. So we got plenty of time. We just got a donation. We got $8 from Shuli91 that says, let's go quo with a lowercase Q. And let's check in on the incentive really quick. We are really close. We are 30 some odd dollars away. I think it's out of 464. And while no one gave that math in their head, that is $31 away from the incentive. There'll be some more bid wars and stuff up there for you guys tomorrow. I don't want to have you guys kill everything while you're doing this. We are also $105 away from our next stretch goal, which is $300, sorry, $3,505. I just want to let you all in on the significance of that amount. That is the amount we raised at launch party this year. So that would be us outdoing our personal best for the year so far. We can beat that number today. So get those donations in. I think we started at 2,813. So, you know, a little under $600 raised today, but you know, crossing 3,000 was big. Getting to 3,500 would be really big. So, and it would be a strong start to a day that only had six runs, which is something else to consider. So a lot of stuff going on. Um, and yeah, so the obviously everyone's gonna wanna donate for that five hot dogs run if you haven't already and all right um because quo was already kind of set up we don't need a long intermission we're going to take a quick pause for the cause we're going to hear from our charity we're going to hear from some friends and we're going to see some of your dogs but when we come back we'll be live with captain toad treasure tracker any percent by quo stay tuned All right, everyone, here we are. It's not like we went very far. We're back. It's KBBL 92.9 The Blend, starring CJ and Quo. Quo, you look so much more, like, full in the frame. I, I mean, you know, the camera's only so big, you know? You know, you were sitting back there on the couch. Now there's no couch. There is no couch. There's only me and you, but you're on the virtual couch. I am on the virtual couch, and Spicy is, I'm assuming, in the metaphysical kitchen. 
I think she went to the bedroom to play with the dog, but yes, something like well, that. I'm saying the metaphysical kitchen because she was hungry. But all right, what are we doing, Quo? Um, well, it didn't let me play Splatoon 3 because it's not out yet, but we're going to play Captain Tona's Den because, you know, as far as games go, that one's pretty good. Mama! Something like that. All, all right. right. So this is Captain Toast Treasure Tracker. Um, time starts on the first move, so we're just going to get in here. I just need to make sure I can hear. So it basically starts when I start moving here, which will be in a sec. Um, the song is really good. Sorry, I got distracted. Actually, I'll do all the intros when we start. All right, so time starts soon. Three, two, one, go. Um, so Captain Toad was in Super Mario 3D World as sort of like side quest type things where you can get green stars and then they're like, you know, I was going to start my own timer. Oh well. And then they're like, you know what? We can make this an actual game because it's fantastic. And they did. And this is what we got. Um, so it was on the Wii U originally and some of the things used the gamepad, I don't have the gamepad obviously because I'm on the Switch. Um, so there are like some control scheme things that are sort of weird. You'll see a blue cursor on the screen um, and that's going to be me controlling with like movement and it's gonna it's 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 gonna be a thing so it's sort of like a two-player one controller uh, type thing i'm doing two things at once yeah so while you're doing some of that i want to say that the plot of this game is that that bird and we are in s that after dark territory that bird's an asshole <laughs> That bird is going to steal our, not our girlfriend, unless you're in West Virginia. That's our sister, in case y'all didn't know. I don't know if that's canon. It is canon. It is in the, uh, in the manual. I didn't read the Captain Toad manual. Well, that's, see, I'm telling you, she's not our girlfriend. She's our kissing cousin. Or our sister, as the South would refer to her as. There you go. Sorry to everybody in the south. All right, the secret is in the stars. Plucky past beginnings, here we go. All right, so I am Captain Toad. I'm also the blue cursor on the screen, and it lets me do things like this. Power block in the corner, I can hit it like that, and it's going to explode, while I also move and collect gems. So keep that in mind, because I will be interacting with things here and there, and it's going to be important. Um, you can either collect gems by touching them with Toad or by throwing something at them. Um... We won't see the throwing part a lot, but we will see the toad grabbing them a lot. We will need gems to unlock certain levels, so keep that in mind as well. And then we need stars to progress the levels as well. Are there levels where you do not collect all three gems? Uh, a couple, yes. There are also levels that we just completely skip because we don't need to do all the levels. But we will get there when we get there. Understood. Walleye Tumble Temple. So we can do a sort of skip here where we just fall on the bottom here and it's fast. And we'll just wait for this bridge because I forgot to do a tiny, tiny thing. But that's okay. All right, so I can freeze these platforms by just interacting with them and holding the far left one. Um, and that makes me able to do this entire cycle without having to wait for anything. If I can get through the door, there we go. And that's nice. So one, th ah, freeze him. So one thing I'll mention is that each stage has a bonus objective. So this one is clear the level without breaking the bridge, which we did. Um, normally we're going to want to skip those because um, you'll see here there's going to be a check mark and the don't destroy the bridge. And then there's going to be a stamp. It wastes time. So a lot of them, uh, like the first level, it was I forget. It wasn't important. But a lot of them we're going to specifically aim to not clear the objective. So for this one, it's clear the level in three less touches, which we'll get to soon. Touchstone trouble. Ah. There we go. All right, this one I actually needs to think a tiny, tiny bit. There you go. So if you ever die or restart the level, the gems you collected Day. So we're going to restart here. We got all three gems and then uh, I can just finish the level like this and I make sure to do it more than three touches so that I don't get the bonus objective and we save you for more time. So that was a touchstone trouble. 
All right, and just like that, we're on to the next level. Drumroll, please. Mushroom Mesa. CJ's doing a great job on commentary for this game. He is very acquainted with. What's your favorite level in the game, CJ? My favorite level is level 16. Uh, which one? The second one. I see, I see. Yeah. See? You tried to throw a fastball at me, but I know how many there are. I'm also not trying to, like, get in the way of the legitimate commentary. <laughs> uh, there's a gem out here. Okay. So, part of this game is you can't do everything at the same time. I can't interact with things while also holding down the A button to run, while also moving the camera with the stick, because I only have so many fingers. Um, so sometimes I will just be walking into things blind, and I sort of have a good idea of where I'm going. So, you know. We do what we can. Alright, Double Cherry Palace. So this is the introduction of the Double Cherry. It was a item in... You stole my line. Oh, my bad. You'll get the next one, it's okay. Um, so the Double Cherry creates a clone of you, and we control both toads at the same time, and I missed it, so we're gonna just grab this gem over here. Um, and this is just used for a puzzle. So we're just going to get both toes out. And yeah, the movement's a bit awkward with two toads. Um, just because of how they move. But we get around it. Yeah, Double Cherry in these games has never really been that great. As someone that speed ran Super Mario 3D World, the Double Cherry is a great idea on paper only. Yeah. Oops. We don't see it too much in this game, so it's not that big a deal, but uh, when it does appear, some of the levels do it really well. Um, this one's pretty basic. We're still early in the game, so it's not like anything too complex. But uh, yeah, there are some things that just get really confusing, especially when you get like three or four toads on screen. This is true. I also maintain that the best part of 3D World was the toad levels. There you go. And that's why it's a game now. That's why Toad got his own game. Unfortunately, Peach didn't get a second game for herself. <laughs> did you play that game? I did not. Uh, Super Princess Peach. Spin Wheel Library. Yeah, Super Princess Peach. I think it was on the DS. Yeah. I bet you Potato probably played it. it sounds like a potato game. Oh, that was fast. So yeah, again, if I reset, uh, the gems that I collect maintain but the level still resets, um, which we'll, we'll be using a lot, basically. And for the most part, up until left for a while from now, actually, we will be collecting all three gems in every course, um, just because we do need, I think it's 155 gems at the end of the game. And there's not too much wiggle room if we want to just do the least amount of levels possible. Um, but yeah, this one was basically just a little introduction to spinning the wheel. Alright, now every good speed game needs an auto-scroller, and this one has a few as well. Um, Hot dog, did you say auto-scroller? I did say auto-scroller. Minecart tunnel throwdown. So, uh, you can throw turnips from the minecart, and that's about it. We need to beat the level. CJ, if you have anything to say, now's a good time. Let's see, things I want to say. Um, you know, uh, free Tibet. It's a good one. No, seriously, folks. Uh, you know, we are raising money for Save the Children. We have raised $3,400. We have a lot of milestones. It'd be great if we could get to 35 tonight. That's $100 away. You know, uh, Conception earlier offered his prediction, and he said 37. And I liked his ambition. You know, he had a lot of faith in you. So we have a great day five tomorrow. I understand y'all trying to save your rubles. You know, I get you. I get you. I'm with you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. You know, but, uh, you know, try and get those donations in if you haven't. Um, we have prizes. We have raffles. We have incentives. You know, we are $31 away from getting the 
repair strike incentive for tomorrow. And I know everyone here wants to see that. So get those donations in if you haven't already. Exclamation point donate. Or if you don't want to donate and you just want to enter in to win the prizes, you can do exclamation point no purchase in chat as well. So. All right. How's that? There's a little rad read for you. It took up the whole auto scroller. There you go. You did good. All right. Thankfully, we have enough gems to fight the king of Pyropuff. Oh, sorry. This is your part. The king of Pyropuff Peak. Yeah. And uh, we're going to see this. Uh, I forget his name. Like Draco or something. This dragon. Uh, we're going to see him a few times. He's a cool dude. He spits fire at us and tries to kill us. Do you mean to tell me that Nintendo games reuse enemies? Yeah, all the time. Money. All right, so we're gonna take damage here. That's fine, that's intentional. Um, and we're not gonna take damage for the rest of the level or else we die, and that would be very bad. Um, but yeah, again, we are collecting all the gems because uh, we need them for story reasons. And we're just basically going to sprint to the top. A lot of the... a lot of this level, rather, is based on cycles. So as long as I don't get hit by any of the fireballs, which as long as they hit the walls before they hit me, it's fine. Um, we're pretty much fine. If we're going up or down a ladder, we like never get hit because the fireball is always going a straight line instead of up or down. Which is pretty safe. The only thing I'm worried about is... I'm not gonna make that. Okay, so we're just gonna wait here. Collect coin. And there you go. And we can just, just start. like that. But wait! <gasps> the bird? No, not yet. Bye. We got bamboozled. We've been speckledorfed. It's all good. Luckily, this game is adorable, so it has a very cartoony, you know, um, landing pad from where the dragon got hit. Toad's just like, Ah, oh, this is a great place! <laughs> well, he gets the star, and then he somehow gets off the dragon's head. Oh, Spicy was going to do hers, wasn't she? But only if we hit $3,500 during her run, which, like... Mm, we didn't do it. We missed it, you know? You know, Crunchy Brown was going to show up on stream if we hit 4K by the end of that run. Maybe a little lofty thinking. But, too know. little, too late. <laughs> Wait, it's the bird! Too late. It's the, the bird! Yeah, Toad is pissed. Toad's like, Matt, my girlfriend, my star! No! Ah. Hunt for the great bird's lair. We are on our way. Bird. I'm on my way. Piranha Creeper Cove. Yeah, so with uh, the interacting with the uh, the cursor, we can also make some enemies freeze, or in the case of Piranha Plants, uh, retract, which is very nice. It means that we don't have to like follow their cycles, which means we get to do our own thing instead of whoops instead of following their rules, which we don't want to do. And luckily the end of the level is right at the start, so we can just cross this bridge, but then double back because there is one last gem here. And there we go. Uh, briny bowl swimming hole. And Quo, you're gonna have to read the next couple on your own. Unfortunately. Unfortunate. Ah, please hit the block. Thank you. All right. So I was just setting that up for later so that uh, we can avoid some nonsense that we don't have to do. All right. So there's a couple of gems out of the way. We'll just go around collecting them or doing various things. Um. You sort of saw it there. I don't think I went far enough for it to be super noticeable, but Toad, when he's running, uh, he sort of runs off of, like, whatever he's walking on. He sort of runs off for, like, a split second before falling, 
Keep that in mind, that's going to be important later. Um, we'll get there. Turnip Cannon Jungle. So there is one boy down here, which we gotta get. And then we can restart. So again, restarting is just faster in a lot of cases, because um, you get back to the start, which in some places are just the better position, so we just gotta break that block and collect that gem. And we're on our way. So we do need to freeze a few things because there are still a lot of things alive that are trying to kill us. There you go. Easy as that. So yeah, the interact, or touching on the touchpad if you're using the Wii U version, is like very powerful. Um, and also just like breaks a lot of puzzles in this game, which we will see very obviously later, but there's a few things here and there that uh, they still affect. Which is pretty cool. It's like a whole point and click adventure while you're speedrunning your game. Um, there's also like time, sort of like time trial stuff uh, in this game, um, where there's goal times for beating certain levels, and you literally oops, need to use the interact feature to beat some of those times. So it is developer intended, like they knew what they were doing. All right, we'll get the last gem. We did forget this one earlier just because it's a bit uh, better to get it now. And there we go. This game is very cute. And if you're not doing it for the uh, cuteness, you're doing it for the music, which also bops. Um, yes. All right, drop road dash. So this one, the goal is to finish without uh, killing any bitty buggy. So we are going to do our best to stomp on this one so that we don't get the goal. Um, yeah, it saves that extra two seconds. Uh, please. Okay. So I don't want to get hit here just because there's a part later that uh, I am a bit worried for. We'll get there when we get there. So again, you can't collect things by throwing things at them. So this turnip is going to get this last gem. We're going to freeze these guys and just finesse our way through. Excellent. All right, that's normally where I get hit. Um, but now we're fine. Bizarre Doors of Boo Mansion. So another uh, interact stage, whenever we touch the special pink blocks, um, they'll move in a certain way. Just like that. Alright, little speed strat. We're supposed to do this a different way, but if we just move that block, we can sort of get past it pretty nicely like that. And we do need to get this gem, which involves jumping on all the Koopas. Uh, now another reason that Intract is just like super broken is that I can freeze this Boo that's just blocking the star and walk through him, and we're all good. What is Toad saying? Uh, I will need a translator for this. Shuli, where are you? We gotta know. Alright, this is the blizzard on the Star Express. Which is a reference to something, I'm sure. I'm sure there's some ice bridge train thing.
Alright, so we want to freeze these guys so that they don't run into us. Excellent. We can just squeeze past you and squeeze past you. Um, I technically don't need to freeze them, but it does help a tiny bit. All right. Yeah, but freezing them is better. CJ, perfect timing. Get the train whistle out. That was well timed. I try. People always say I have great timing. There you go. Comedic and, you know, functional. When he says Mawa, he says Wovens. Not on your fucking life. <laughs> Not on your life, is that what he's saying? This is why you'll never have professional work as an interpreter. <laughs> oh, oh, can I finesse it? No, I can't. All right. So, you can do that without taking damage, saves like a quarter second, but it also just feels really good. But I didn't get it, but that's okay. Isn't our hat inverted? Isn't it supposed to be white with red spots? Yeah, so if you get hit, you go small, but to make it more obvious that you're small, they just invert it like that. Um, I'm not sure if there's like a lore behind that or something, but... Damn, it's that bird that stole our bling and our girl. Yeah, now they stole us. But, we're getting here. We're already at the end of the book. Why? This is Wingo's Watchtower. Fight time! This estimate might have been a bit generous, but that's fine. We can skip a cutscene by just restarting the stage. You mean this like whole run cutscene? No, like the cutscene of what? I'm saying this whole run estimate. Yeah, we're like already at the end. It was the last page. Oh, uh, oh, that's right. Yeah, we're at the end of the book. Yeah. All right, Damn. so if I can snipe show this guy, I did excellent. Please, oh no, did I beef it? Run, Toad, run. No, ah, I had to get to that switch like literally a second earlier. All right, we're just gonna wait. I can't, never mind. All right, we're restarting, I don't care. All right. So, Just that easy. He's stall. He's 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 vamping for content because the run's almost over. Basically, so get those donations in. <laughs> get those donations in. So I hit him so that he stalled while I got the gem that was in behind the switch. And then when he comes on this side, what was supposed to happen if I didn't beat this was that his wind is actually going to push me onto this ledge, and that does a nice little skip for us, and we skip a couple of things, which is cool. And then we can continue the level. And we can just get onto that ladder because, you know, Toad's hitbox is sort of funny. Alright, and now we get to fight Wingo and rescue our girl. This fight takes an hour. Not if I do it right. I only have three lives though, so you know, it might take a while. Alright, so for obvious reasons, um, this bird spawns giant turnips. And it takes three hits to hit him, which I got the one cycle, which is pretty good. And then he swallows the giant turnip and becomes a chonk. And that was the boss fight. So. That might have looked easy. That was actually pretty tough, but you know, we got it in there and we saved our girl. All right, and time is coming up. I suppose it is. We have our bling. We have our bling, we have our, one sec. All right, we have our girl. We had to yank our girl out by the ass. <laughs> but by the feet, it's a children's game. Palms down, ass up. It's the way we like to get the stars. <laughs> Songs and make her dance. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you All go. All right, there we go. That was Captain Toad's treasure tracker. I suppose uh, it was. Roll the credits. Yeah, roll the credits. All right, and uh, so uh, where can they uh, find you after this? Yeah, so you can find me on twitch.tv slash quo. That's quo with four O's. Um, I'm also on Twitter. You can check me out on Twitter. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Um, Twitter, Twitch, good. Um, you know, obviously we talked about you do high score stuff and uh, I do yeah. stuff. Yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, so I guess we'll. Uh, 
you know. We're yeah. going to take uh, a pause for the cause. We're going to pay some bills. We're going to keep the lights on. And uh... I mean, if you want me to, like, vent for time for while the yeah, next Yeah, you know, you set, did. Yeah. I don't think Cece's ready yet. You did come in an hour and ten minutes under estimate. So... You know, if you want to like juggle or something. Yeah, uh, yeah, we'll just run the credits and then and then figure something out. Yeah, we'll let the credits run for sure. Yeah. I always get nervous when I make a joke and Shirley doesn't laugh. Then I'm like, ooh. Maybe she didn't think it was funny. <laughs> the four dots, not three dots. <laughs> All right, this part's great. So. Not this part, never mind. No, the four dots was in response to this. But I was like... Alright, so I, Toad is I freaking out, and Toad is yeah. just like... <laughs> I love that part. It's an allegory for your relationship. There you go. Somehow. Yeah. Alright, the end. Alright. The end. <gasps> what was that? Yeah. <gasps> Gasp. Alright. Final level, all oh, that's good. Saving. Ooh. Yeah, alright, we closed the book. Alright, but done. In a plot twist, there is another book. <laughs> I know. Alright, episode two. But the game even hides it from you. At the start of the game, that box that said episode one said start. And also there's a big two on book two, but on book one it's just a feather. Like they 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 they're sneaking it. I feel like we did this already. We sort of did, and it starts the exact same way. And then, All right. you know, the big bird's gonna come. Really? Yeah. This literally. Is unimagin this is unimaginative. The big bird literally steals the star, and it starts the exact same way. I, I called you something in French, and you were like, did you call me a big bird? Yeah, you called me a big bird. I called you a grand oiseau. Yes. Wait a minute. Now we're getting yanked? Yeah. In a twist of fate, the bird's actually taking Captain Toad. Oh. Okay, so hang on. So when Toadette gets captured, so when Toadette gets hit, does, she, does her head turn white with pink spots? I think so. Hmm. I'm sure we'll get hit at some point, because now Captain we get to play Toad, as Toad. Captain Treasure Pet. Toad 2. <laughs> the captain gets Toad napped. All right. Well, good. Hey, we had him going there for a minute, huh? <laughs> Wink. We got Dale. We did get Dale. That's probably the best thing yet. Dale's in the, the war room like, what? Where does this thing? He goes, <laughs> I Is took this a nap the fucking end of the game? Did I nap through an hour of code? <laughs> no one else was fooled except Dale. <laughs> I mean, truly, and people have seen the run before, you know. I'm sure we got That's someone. Fine. We got Dale. There you go. We got. Oh, well, there we go. So it's pink with dark red spots. Mm, I don't like that as much. Yeah, I'll try to not get hit often then. Yeah, that's good. You'd do well to do that. Mm. This is a fun level though. Yeah, it's colorful. I watched you and Spicy do co-op on this level a long time ago. Did we do co-op? Maybe we did. It's been a while. You did. Yeah, it was chaos. You know, I wanted to say my mom said that you and Spicy were adorable. Nice, thank you. She thought you were she thought you were two were really cute, but she didn't she was afraid she didn't want to say it because she knows you're a private person. That's fair. So I thought I'd say it anyway. Understandable. Yeah. Because I don't care that you're a private person. There you go. Yeah. Do you want to dox me as well? You don't know my uh, address, it's fine. That's fine. I do well, no, I don't know your new one. Exactly. Ah. No. <sighs> just, just get out of here. Okay. I was supposed to hit him earlier, but I didn't because I missed. Um, this level's cool, so if you thought that this game was just cute and me running around and, you know, doing things, it is. But also, there are skips in this game, and this level has one, which we will see soon. Really? Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't expect it from, you know, Captain Toy's Treasure Tracker, but it does have a few skips. I From an episodic cube <clears throat> puzzle game, I would not expect skips. It's more like a diorama. All right. I don't know why, but every time that I hear the word diorama, I think of uh, Mockerman. I think of Pestum Rope Arena. So if we get on this... Ah, there we go. Fence, we can actually just skip uh, onto the blood platform. It's, like, very tight. But we make it by a tiny bit. 
Um, and that saves like nine seconds. It's pretty cool. Speaking of things that are pretty cool, um, we have another auto scroller. So, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Um, so I didn't mention this last time, but auto scrollers are a good place to just get coins. Uh, if we get 100 coins, we get a one up, and that's just safety. Um, there's nothing else to do. Like you can't really lag or do or anything. You just need to get your gems and get out. So I just take the opportunity. So was this game fun to learn? This game was great. It was a joy. I mean, mostly because it was like very colorful and I have a short attention span. Sure. I remember you were like, hey, listen, I don't think I'm going to have a submission for Estet um, because I'm not doing any of my current runs. I mean, I would submit Snap. Yeah, you did say that. Yeah, you did say Snap. And I was like, yeah, well, we've had Snap at every event. You know? but, no, we didn't. So... We didn't have that launch party. I'm trying to cut back, right? Uh, so, anyway, I was, you know, whatever. So, uh, you were like, well, I could probably learn Captain Toad Treasure Tracker in an afternoon. And, uh, you know, I think you, it took you more than that, but. I, I mean, think, uh, I didn't dedicate an entire afternoon, you know? I could have. Uh, that's fair. You dedicated several. Like, for, if you just do beginner strats, this game is, like, ridiculously easy. Right. Do you think you're gonna come in under 135? I'm gonna come in under like 130 probably. Ah, unless wow. I keep on. I know. All right. Make the prediction. Who's gonna get the points here? I'll, I'll start it here so that all the mods can participate. Uh, please just fall. Thank you. All right. So that part's a bit annoying. I need to break the bottom blocks here. But if I ever interact with any of the uh, the invisible floor, it does that instead. So, you know, it's tough, but we're good. And we got three gems, and we leave. Oh, yeah! Oh. Of course, it's pretty cool. All right, so the question was asked earlier. Um, this is the first level where we don't get three gems. So there's not a lot of levels like this, but this is one of them, obviously. Um, there's also a bit of a skip here, so if we get all the Goombas on the left side, we can squeeze in, and I missed it. Alright, so we're gonna try again. So there's you cool can skip now here. vote in the prediction, by the way. But if we get all the Goombas on the left side, we can squeeze in there and get to this gem very early. And just collect that. Alright, so I briefly mentioned it earlier, but Toad and Toadette can sort of walk uh, across gaps if they're running, and this is actually a perfect example because we're supposed to do an entire uh, entire section, but we can just cut across the uh, the pipe. Do you know what would be really scummy? If I just bet all my points on no and then I throw the run. That would be... Very unconscionable, but you know, uh, you could totally H box this if you want. <laughs> no, I put all my money in on estimate. Just don't break your chair when you're done, please. I'll do my best. Uh, 106,000 channel points have been bet on under. No pressure. Uh, to one person bet 20,000 on the over. You know what? I'm just gonna throw in a 10 spot on the over. Thinking. Oh, yeah! oh. So, this game is broken up into two chapters. Episodes. Episodes, right? Um, does this cha one also have 17 chapters? 18, but yes. Okay. Does it follow like a similar structure? Like basically, yeah, yeah. Um, you're hey, gonna spicy. have. Hi. TJ says hi. We saw her. Uh, you're you're in my headphones now, so she can't hear you per se. Um, That's fine. We saw her. You did. She was there. Yes. She's real. Ah, get the jump. Wait, I totally forgot the first two jumps. What am I doing? 
I'm throwing for content. This is how the people get their channel points back. <laughs> Alright, you know. Um, things happen. Sometimes you just zone out and things happen. But we do need all our gems. And, uh... Just there we go. Um, so you'll see me use this top-down view a lot. It's not great when you're finding, like, doors and stuff because you can't see the doors. Um, but it is good in a lot of other circumstances, so... I just prefer it for a few things. It doesn't have like a, like there's no lag reduction or anything in this game. So if I ever, um, so I've shown it before, like resetting, you get a gem. I'll show it again here, actually. Um, if you don't finish the level, your gems don't stay. So let's say I forgot those gems, I would have actually had to go back and still finish the level, which is a bit annoying, but uh, that's what you don't forget. All right, so our boy's back. And better than ever. Um, once you watch cutscene in this game, you can just skip it, which is very nice. Too short, so that's good. Did you say that you found like a six second time save? Like? Uh, uh, two days ago, but yes. I will show it off later. Ragadon? Get your Monster Hunter weird shit out of here. Mm, I'm just gonna play it safe and not go there. Oh, so this is like a continuous timeline because he has the bump. Yeah. And I'm pretty oh, sure he has the bump in Monster Hunter as well. Interesting, yeah. That's his name? You're his name. Say my name. Right. You ever watch Breaking Bad? I did. Good show. I started rewatching it. Gotta say, all those people that thought that Skyler was such a terrible person, uh, they need to rewatch the show because Walter's kind of a jerk. Really. No, please don't die. <sighs> yeah, he's sort of an ass. Um, I mean, I think the whole like drug dealing thing sort of yeah. puts a damper on things. Yeah, being a meth kingpin, you know, kind of ruins any relationship. I don't know. It's kind of irrevocable. Ir ir yeah. But, like, you know, in season four, he just stops trying to be, like, a good person, and it's just, like, crazy. Yeah. I mean, he does run over those two guys, but, you know. Jesse, run. Oh, yeah. Jesse, do it now. Oh. And Jesse didn't want? run. Mr. White. <laughs> Mr. White? Yeah! Magnets! <laughs> Alright. Time for a break. This is a 45 second auto scroller. We're riding a dragon. It's pretty cool. Ruh, ruh, like a dungeon dragon. Ruh, ruh, like a dungeon dragon. Like a dungeon dragon. Like a dungeon dragon. Alright. Looks like he has some sort of food there. I looks that I would assume, you know what? It kind of looks like a coffee cake. It's probably really wrong. No, you're exactly right. It was a coffee cake. Ooh! It wasn't a coffee cake. Oh. It was scrambled eggs. Yeah, I was way off. Yeah, it was close. They both have yeah. nothing. Some like... milk thing in them, I guess. Gross. They both have eggs, maybe. <laughs> you forgot about that song? Yeah. I can't sing hardly any of it because it's not even S that after dark appropriate. <laughs> Damn. All right, so there are uh, there are turnips here, and I missed the first one, but we got the second one, and that lets us just skip a intended puzzle, which is pretty nice. So not often that the game mechanics sort of just work with you to break the game, but when they do, it's pretty cool.
All right, so one last gem in the underground because we've got our blue captain, to, uh, blue toad brigade guide over here. Didn't I drop the C word at like 11 a.m. this morning? What? In chat? That's uh, different. It's totally different. It is this. Also, I, I had a very important question. I was accusing someone of being a conservative, mm. and they weren't. There you they go. Didn't, they didn't emphatically, you know, they didn't emphatically deny it. Here I go! Wind upstairs. Yeah, so this level's all about uh, cycles. And we're going to try to hit them. That cycle's impossible to make, though. All right, so things go up and down. There's one thing that's a bit tight to a bit later on. Um, the rest is sort of, sort of chilling. Nothing too complex. Oh, oh never mind, we're good. All right, so if I'm good, I can just squeeze up here without it going back down. Excellent. So if you spin the control stick, um, you do a spinning animation, that actually has a hitbox, so we can actually kill that enemy, which opens the star right in front of us, which is pretty cool. You only see that that one time in the run, but it's pretty useful. All right, so this is up and down terrace. Um, sort of like the fence skip we saw earlier in 2-2, I think. Uh, we can sort of just fall, and I missed it. So we can sort of just fall onto this part and to get this gem early on, which is nice. Gem number three there, and then we just need to beat the level. There you go, easy as that. All right, so for those keeping track, this will be the second level that we actually um, beat the secret objective on. So again, we try not to because Normally, it's slower because of this extra animation, but in this case, it's there's no better way of doing that uh, that level. Here I go. Mm. <laughs> Clear pipe puzzle plex. Yes. Also, you will need to read the next few without me. Next few what? Okay. Things. I'm I'm leaving for. Oh, a I thought you meant like donations or something. I'm like what? No, the the, the titles. <laughs> I said the same thing for you before. Hopefully no donations come in. That would be tragic. Yeah, that'd be the worst possible thing. All right, so there's a whole route to this puzzle thing, or this pipe maze thing, rather. Um, and once you know it, it's pretty easy. There's not, uh, not too much going on here. We do damage boost at the end because it's a slight bit faster, but that's pretty much all the excitement we're getting out of this one. That is true. Alright, so we have another cutscene coming up. Toadette's walking around. And you gotta set up camp, you know? This is a good reminder that you gotta sleep. Man, it just happens, you know. Yeah. Also, I'm not back, but oh. I had to say that. <laughs> we appreciate the commitment. Here I go. All right. So, um, this is another level where we only get two gems. Um, usually it's just because the last one's like super out of the way, and there are better alternatives. Also, we don't need all the gems ever. Uh, yeah, this was pretty simple. Not much going on here. I just gotta wait for things to happen.
Oh, he's actually going to bed. <laughs> I thought it was for the bit. Someone donated in CJ's. This is tragic. What happens if someone there's... donated three dollars? Xenos donated three dollars. Said, "I bet Crunchy Brown hates seeing this total right now, Kappa." Thank you, Xenos. Three four zero three. You can't do it to me. All right, this level's pretty cool. There's a lot of different things happening. I wasn't supposed to do that. Uh, so we just set it up so that everything is going to happen when we need it to happen. Primarily having bullet bills fire and hit things that we need to hit so that we can continue. Like these blocks beside us. Oops, I wasn't supposed to do that. We're good. And there you go. So this level is actually like really hard doing it casually, but the speed run route is pretty speedy if I do say so myself. So we've seen spin wheels before. This one is sort of the same concept. You spin and things happen. In this case, it's the entire stage that moves and... Oh no! Okay. That's pretty cool. There's gonna be a few stages like this where it's like a big sort of thing in the sky that changes a lot. There's one later that's pretty neat. Also, as far as I remember, this is CJ's favorite level. As he claimed earlier. Uh, we're going to take damage there. That's intentional because the uh, objective of this one is do it without taking damage. Again, we want to skip those. So, a bit of damage there. Oh, never mind. I lied. It was the last one. Alright, if I had the Toad Amiibo, um, I would use it here because it does save a bit of time. It's actually pretty cool with the strats. But I do not have a Toad Amiibo, so we're going to do it the basic pitch way. As Sakurai intended. Uh, Alright, well that's not a good start. But that's fine, I was supposed to freeze them, but I got distracted by the fact that I touched the wall when I shouldn't have. And then everything just got ruined. This shouldn't matter. Uh, I'll pick up a safety mushroom, actually. There's one around, but even then, it's probably not needed. Alright, so I'm gonna freeze this karma here. And he broke my turn. Alright. And I'm gonna freeze this one. And there we go. That fight is very nice with the interact mechanic. If you haven't noticed yet, the green one is always reading and the yellow one is always sleeping. Alright, so last area, uh, there's going to be a lot of enemies and we do need to kill them all. our way through. Alright, so we'll freeze this one. Now, if you noticed, one of the hammer rows actually took out the other one, which is nice, also intended. Gotta get this giant tower of Goombas. And then we do need to kill all the enemies here, um, just to progress. And was that it? Yes, it was. And there we go. And just like that, that was the end of book two. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, there was a third book. We're not. No! We're not 50 minutes underestimate. No. <laughs> the bit can only go so far. 
I mean, you, it's sort of like you sort of expect there to be a third episode based on the fact that the bird steals your girl here, and then you know kicks you off. Also, keep in mind that Toad sinks, like like a rock, but he's able to like hover in the air. That means that like he has like mad jet engines on those boots. It's rough out here. So we wake up in the bottom of a ditch. And there's a hidden shortcut here that, you know, doesn't matter ever if you're playing casually, but I guess it's pretty cool that it's there for people who are coming back to the game. Oh. Yeah. And not only did the bird knock us into this pit, but he steals our star again. And also he already has the girl. So, you know, he's being actual ass this time. He's being a 10 pound ass. Oh, uh, I think that's a bit more than 10 pounds. That bird well, birds is have hollow big. bones, that's how they can fly. True. <laughs> and he can fly while also carrying Toadette, who is as heavy as a rock. Like large boulder size of a small yeah, size of a small boulder type thing. Are you saying she has large boobs? No, I'm saying she sinks when she goes in water, which means that she's very heavy. <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the levels where the interact feature sort of just completely breaks it because you can just stomp the things from turning. Also I got the cycle that I normally miss and die on. So for the green ones, it's sort of like a quality of life thing, like it just makes it easier to manage. And let me just get this last gem. Um, but we're going to restart and we can just pause this blue one and get the star in two seconds, which is the speedrun strat, <laughs> I guess. So yeah, interaction breaks some levels. I think the world record on that is two seconds because you just need to walk in a straight line. This level's really cool. So there's these big boulders and we can uh, interact with them to like pause them in the air. Uh, so we're gonna be doing that to um, sort of get better cycles uh, instead of waiting for them to, you know, appear when they're ready to appear. Um, so it's sort of like taking a cycle-based level and just like making it your own cycles, which is really cool. just like that just like that so far i don't think i've missed a gem which is good <laughs> but i have not been keeping count well you know that they say about missing only happens once all right this level has a really cool mechanic and that is that it is an absolute bop to listen to so i'm not going to say anything during it Sound was loud enough. Clap. Um, again, we took damage there. Secret objective is not taking damage. Saves a bit of time. All right. Uh, 
Uh, so there's a gem on the right side. It sort of takes a while to go back up because water is slower. Um, but again, we can just restart, and that does keep our gems in case uh, you missed me saying it earlier. Alright, so the pickaxe involves uh, breaking things, which is cool. Everyone likes breaking things. All right, now if I'm fast, I can make a cycle without getting hit by a nut. Unless it's this one. Never mind. Nut, nut, nut. Ah, I'm just gonna place it. All right, we're good. All right, I'm gonna grab the last boy behind this wall. And not die right at the end of the level. Excellent. We are swimming by. playing Minecraft, I would not be caught dead playing Minecraft. I'm joking. Minecraft is okay sometimes, but only with people. All right, so here's Toadette. She's back. Um, so book three sort of swaps between Toad and Toadette, and I'm not sure if there's like an actual story of how they like get back together, which eventually they do. But uh, they both, you know, sort of hobble around and collect some gems and not get hit by that. All right. You can make that without getting hit. If you do, you can sort of save a bit of time later, but, you know, or saving time then, which is also important. All right, so we're going to use some funny level geometry to our advantage again. Um, so this, nice. This big log, uh, we can actually pause to uh, make it stop moving. And if we walk on the side of it, we can sort of just fall right in front of the star, and that skips a section of the level, which is cool. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Alright, this is the best level because there's a line of Bitty Buggy, or Bitty Buds rather, and they are on a stroll. And they're just having a good old time. Oops, alright, we weren't supposed to take damage there. So I'll just have to finesse this. Bam, look at that. Movement unparalleled. That was the Bitty Buggy Snow Stroll. Oh, yeah! oh. Here I go! <laughs> Do you remember that uh, Oscar Proudy moat we used to have? Uh, vaguely? Whatever happened to that? I have no idea. Whatever, it's not one of our emotes, is it? It's not. Did we get YMCA'd? Oh, I missed the thing. I can't imagine that's why. We have a Bammo. We have a who now? Speedo a Bammo. That's our Obama emote. Oh. Well, we don't get DMCA'd because of Obama. You only get DMC uh, for fake people. No, they did. They they did remove that emote from our account. We had to put it up on FFZ. Oh, rip. Does anyone else remember that? What no will now? I remember it being a thing. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. What no will now? All right, so we've got a few P switches on this one. Um, there is a gem that we can sort of cheese by picking up this boy and throwing it at the gem. So it's the, the one right, right here. Um, so instead of crossing and doing all that stuff, we just toss it and it collects it for us, which is nice.
just like that. That was actually pretty speedy. So, sort of another auto-scroller. Auto There's two, like, actual walking parts between. Here I go! <laughs> or, well, only one, I guess. But there's a part at the beginning, which is the only way you'll actually lose time. Because the rest is pretty standard stuff. So. This one's a bit harder to actually hit 100 points while still not losing a bunch of time. So if I can do it, great. If not, I still have a bunch of lives. I don't think there's anywhere that I'm afraid of dying six times. take damage here just uh yeah waiting for these guys to move just takes too long because they move very slowly and we're back in the cart chilling for the rest of this one. These are unfortunately auto scrollers. Not much to do here. I don't feel like I have a lot to contribute right now. I mean, it's an auto scroller. It's you know, only Aren't so much. Twenty-eight can levels or something. Twenty-eight in this one, yeah. That's a lot. Uh, we don't do all of them. It's still a lot. Yeah, a tiny bit. I mean, it's it's not a difficult game. You know, if they don't have a lot of levels, people are gonna finish it in like three hours casually. <laughs> What's so wrong with that? You, know, you don't want to spend 60 bucks on three hours? Says you. If I want to do that, I'd go to the movies. Hey Alright, so this level is slightly anxiety inducing. But that's okay. Alright, so to save like 16 seconds, I think it is. We want to hit both of those uh, footpaths at the same time. And then we sort of just need to dash to the end without falling. Sounds easy enough. And it is, you see? Easy. First try every time. So our boy's back with a fresh coat of paint. Huh? 
Alright, so at the top here, we can just jump off the side and make it on a tiny bit of land that's just stretched out. That's good game design. Um, and there's a few funny things with the uh, interact blocks that we'll be doing. So that was one of them where um, we can move the door that we entered through after we've entered it, and then that uh, sets up a platform for the other part, which is good. I almost died there, which I do more often than I'd like to admit. Uh, yeah, I missed that. That's fine. And the rest of the level is pretty standard. There we go. This is actually like one of the easier dragon levels. Pretty sure it's easier than the second one at least. IMO. Halfway through book three, only a couple left. Here I go! <laughs> Alright, we're on to the Razzle Dazzle slider. Uh, so we can interact with all the notes at the bottom, and that just opens the exit. So we sort of do that, or else the game sort of wants you to go down the slide five times, which, you know, I'm not about. There you go, the exit's open. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, so the, the speedrun timer, again, so like the individual level stuff um, doesn't count the gems, so the speedrun thing is literally just press the five things and walk to the star, which is in front of you. So it's, you know, a bit silly. Oh, yeah! Oops, not this one. This one. All right, so Fright Train, fr Fright Train Flight uh, is a pretty cool level, in my opinion, at least. Uh, so we're going to use this. Uh... Oops, I wasn't supposed to knock that off that early. Uh, I forget what he's called. The charging chuck. That's it. He almost fell off. That would have been tragic. Okay, so I didn't want to take damage there because that just makes this next part a bit uh, more risky. But we're gonna want Charging Chuck to break that block and then I can climb up the ladder. Excellent, that was actually perfect. Um, which gets us Ether Gem and also gets us a quicker path to the star. Yeah. Oh. Alright, next boss level. Uh, no sleep at Magikoopa Keep. So, Magikoopa is apparently here, or Kar Ka Kamek, Karmek, something like that. Depends which, uh, where in the world you are. He's Magikoopa, I guess, in the uh, North American release. So, this is a bit of a longer level. Um, the boss levels usually are. Um, not too, too tough, though. A couple things to keep in mind. Not getting hit there is one of them, but, you know. We can't all be god gamers. Ah. Alright, we're saving this key for later. So, whenever you open a door, there's a little animation that plays. Um, like, the key needs to unlock the door and all that. So we are going to pass this door again, so we're just going to unlock it now. And next time we pass over, instead of waiting for the whole animation to play out, we're just going to grab it the second time around. Which is right now. Can only land on the 
stumpy boys and be on our way. Cool, I, I learned a fun fact. What was this fun fact? Do you know that Donkey Kong was not originally supposed to be in Mario Kart 64? Interesting, why not? Uh, because there was a different character that was going to be in the game. Who would this be? The original character was Kamek. Interesting. Yeah, he sort of fell off. He did fell off. Uh, I, I, I learned that because I watched a video on the HD mod for uh, Mario Kart 64 where they restored in the game files there was the full sprite of Kamek. So they redid it. And there you go. And while well, quote it's a mouthful of scrambled eggs and what I can only assume is a water cooler. It is. We got a free ordination from drag. Don't quote me on this. This guy is speed. Ooh. You know, I sort of do be speedrunning sometimes. You do be speedrunning sometimes. And just like that, we are... Uh, no one can do this math in their head. Five... We're $25 away from the uh, five hot dogs run. There you go. It's $5 per hot dog. It's a deal yeah, if you ask me. And, and as we all know, $5 is $5. That's true. All right, so this is a bit of a new level in the lineup. We switched it up for an older one. Um, I'm going to sort of control... I should be here right now. I'm going to sort of control both... Uh, the top and middle part here to get the gems, but also to finish the level a tad bit early. Mm. So something like that. I'm going to walk across here and then across here and then across here and we're at the end of the level. Excellent. That was actually pretty good. Oh. That is harder than it looks, by the way. I know I sort of am sick at this game, but you know. It's a tough strat. Alright, Ghost Gallery Gambit. This one's also a bit of an auto scroller. Uh, not that much going on, and we need to wait for platforms to uh, appear, which are on a set uh, set time thing. Is this the Ghost Face Killer level? Ghost Gallery Gambit. Uh, I'm just happy that Julie didn't leave and then miss the end of the run and then be like, oh my god, the marathon went offline. That's true. She would never miss my room. I just, well, you know. This is one of my favorite pop offs of yours. I don't know if you remember. That run was sick. That run was okay. It was pretty sick. It was pretty sick. That's not what you said. It, it was a joke. Because because I was sick that day. Like, ill. Like I had a cold. Were you illin? And the stream title was Sick Runs. So the run was sick. You know? That was really weird. You're supposed to get that gem from the other side? I have no idea how that happened. New tech. Eh, it doesn't save time. So yeah, not much going on here. We're just waiting for platforms to fall. There's no way to speed any of this up, unfortunately. And there we go. That will be the end of that, though. Oh. Alright, Blitz to the end. We're doing every single level from here on out. But there are only 28, so... Seven levels left? Six? Something like that? And two, two, three, two, four, two, five, two, six, seven, seven, twenty, seven. Calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves. Exactly. Yeah. Yo, was that the Gaffy Taffy? Is that prime time in the chat? Alright, so this one's pretty fast if you know where exactly to 
touch on the touchstones. Small damage boost at the end just to uh, put those bitty buggies. But yeah, that's a very fast level. It's pretty cool. We just got a $5 donation from Elon Musk. I can't wait to watch Five Hot Dog present in my Tesla. There you go. All right. That brings us up to 444. We are $20 away. Who gonna do it? We'll be done tonight. It would be done tonight. It may be done tonight. Maybe not though. Do you believe in chat? I'm gonna tell you, I do believe in chat. I believe in Santa Claus, does that help? Will Santa Claus donate $20? Oh, yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> no, no. All right, so super, super important. I started running this game, you know, not too, too long ago. Um, but I found a time saver and I'm claiming it as my own. And it is in this level and I'm gonna show it off. So, there is a gym over here, right there. There's also a big wall here that I need to wait for. If you use this platform to push yourself, you can just make it over this fence, and that saves like two seconds. Well, So the rest of this level does have to do a lot with cycles, which I think, yeah, we can make it there without taking damage. Excellent. All right, last gem over here. And then small trick here, we can use the platform to boost momentum, which I did not get. I also totally forgot to just break this wall. All right, well, we're just gonna wait. Are you saving time? Uh, I mean, you know, debatably. Mm -hmm. Pretty fast, but you know, not that fast. All right, the deep space gyromajig is next, and this level has two skips. One of them is pretty easy. One of them is pretty tough. Um, I'll try to go for both of them, but uh, we'll cross our fingers on this one. You said you need 155 gems to get to the end. Uh, something like that. Okay. You said, I know there's 28 mm. levels, but if my math is right, you should only need to get all three and two more. Yes. All right, so I missed the first one. The second one is if I hug this cannon and die. Oh. All right, well, we're going to try for the first one again. So <laughs> what was supposed to happen, which I almost got it last time, we're supposed to just step on this wall and then land on the cannon just like this. Now for real this time. I'm going to land on the cannon and then miss it, but you can save it, which I did. All right, and I got the backup at least. But yes, so we don't need to, we need 155 to unlock uh, level 27, as, and then we don't need any after that. So we don't need any in level 27, and we don't need uh, the, any in level 28. We do need that one, which played it safe since I missed on the first turn up. Please call the jump, thank you. And there you go. So yes, only three gems left and they do come in the next level. We got a $3 donation from Shuli. I'm too tired to come up with a witty comment here, so I'll leave it to CJ to say something funny. Also, maybe a $3 choo-choo eyes. We are getting a $3 train going right now. There you go. We are only $17 away. And what's something funny I can say? Um... Uh. You know, when you're put on the spot, it's always harder. Uh, we'll have to wait for the next one. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty tapped out. I called Gaffy short twice today. That was... That's... yeah. 
scraping the bottom, the bottom of the barrel there. It was because he's not even that short. He's not. He's like average height. He's taller than Quo. That's, you know, not saying much, but... Oh, uh, we had an incentive idea for this that didn't happen. I asked Quo if he would take his shirt off for money, and he said no. That did happen. I thought it'd be funny if he did a Toad cosplay, but then I realized it's way funnier if Crunchy Brown does a Toad cosplay, which is the vest and the hat. Here I go! You laughed at the silence? Okay, I'm glad you laughed at the silence. <laughs> I had a chuckle. All right, so we needed 155 gems to unlock this level, which means that we don't need anything anymore. So, you know, this gem that's literally two steps away, doesn't matter. We don't need it. Is Crunchy even gonna be on stream? Uh, like as a host or like? Is he gonna be on camera? Probably not. He doesn't have any runs, but would he be on camera? Yeah, well, it's like, I would do the Crunchy. I would we'd try and find a way to do the Crunchy thing, but hopefully he's gonna be on camera. Probably not. We just have him go full screen live before, uh, before a run. We'll just get him on a bumper or something. It'll, it'll, it'll work out. He would just look like a discount Mario Party cheating? That's racist. <laughs> gotcha, Gaffy. You guys can pace yourselves, you know, we got three more days in it. I don't wanna get to I don't wanna get to Monday and be like, man, I got tapped down on Saturday. Mrs. Miss Bird Steal Yo Girl and our bling. Also, for those of you who didn't believe that I would go underestimates, my PB is a 127 and right now I'm two minutes ahead because I haven't died yet. So, you know, I might throw for Fight time! Uh, mm, uh, eight, not ten minutes. I might not. Who knows? And then you have the bonus levels to do. True, but that's not counted in the time. It's very true. It's very true. So, uh, it's time at the end of this level. Okay, so there's or a skip the... here. Uh, yes, time is at the end of this level. Like, actually, for real this time. No, I didn't get it. Okay. So, if you wait a certain amount, um, you can wait for Wingo... Um, and he takes it an extra second to like teleport and if you make it to the top of that it saves like 20 seconds It's ridiculous, but I did not get it, which is unfortunate um, Most of the time save first of all comes from the fact that you get that on the first cycle But second of all comes from the fact that you don't need to wait for these blocks to go back up Which we will have to wait for unfortunately Um, again, don't need jumps, because at this point, we're at the last level. So we're just hanging out. Yellowtoad's still sleeping, as he does. Sleepy dude. He is a sleepy boy. We got, we got another $3 from Shuli, which is, it's pumpkin spice season, y'all. Dab. Can we get a dab for Shuli, bro? Alright, he did the pumpkin dab. Why is it called that? Uh, because that's what I just called it. There you go. There you go. Alright, one cool last skip. We can use Wingo's wings to uh, sort of do the same thing that we did in book one. To just jump over this bridge and make it there and skip that puzzle. And run to the boss fight. Same thing as the book one boss fight, but this time there's a bit more things involved. Um, no walls, obviously. And he also throws electricity, which is random, but that is going to work for us. We're going to do the exact same thing we did the first time. Um, so we're going to set three terms on the bottom, and if I can get him in one cycle, that's just like super fast. If not, I sort of cry. Um, because he is, you know, pretty fast. Not what we'll be getting. Gaming. Excellent. And that was pretty much Captain Toad. Time stops when I chonk, by the way. Uh, when I touch the star at the end, which will be coming up in just a tiny bit. That was sub 125. Damn, I'm good at this game.
Still that PB? Uh, yeah, about like two minutes. Wow, is that way a Wait, PB to add PB? day four? My PB was a 127.44. I'll probably have to retime it just to like be sure. Uh, but yeah, by just over three minutes, Jesus. Yeah. All right, you know. All right, and time is right now. And there we go. Wow, great job. Thanks. All right, real credits this time. We'll give him a watch. 124.47 is the time. We got another $3 from Shuley91. I sure do love pulling dandelions and eating grass. I'm just going to say, I did not write that one, but I have accused Shuley of eating dandelions on more than one occasion. It's got the protein or something. I was like, what do you eat? Like, do you like she like gave you a can of offal? <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I imagine she eats like dandelions and like fennel. And then she's like, mmm, fennel. I don't think she actually said that. You don't think she's ever said mmm fennel? No. No, I would bet money on that. Also, I'm glad I bet all my channel points on me coming undressed in it. The under has it. Alright, so you're gonna do the bonus levels in this game. Listen, I, every time that I make fun of Fennel, someone's gotta come out and start defending Fennel. Right? It's a funny word. It's a funny word, and it's, you know, Fennel. Like, it's just like a funny thing. It's not as, like, you know, like, chickpeas is not as funny as fennel. You can make jokes with chickpeas, though. What jokes are you making with chickpeas? I'll tell you after. hi -o! All right, so, in the Switch version, they have bonus Mario Odyssey levels. The game sort of hints at it at the end when it's like the adventure continues in Super Mario Odyssey. Um, and yeah, there are four or five levels, I forget. We're gonna go through them though, because they're good times. Um, I don't know the like super optimal speedrun route, but we'll still show them off. Um, if you've played Odyssey, you will appreciate it. These levels are very well made, IMO. If you haven't, probably should. It's like one of the best Switch games. You wouldn't pay for a garbanzo bean on- oh, I see. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, all right, it's clicking for CJ. All right, so bonus levels it has Super Mario Odyssey. It also has other stuff, which I guess I could join my other file, but uh, it's Toad Brigade stuff and Curse of Mamimi, which I don't love super much, but the Odyssey levels are really good. And it starts in Sand Kingdom, just like Odyssey, which technically it doesn't, but. By the way, we are $14 away. We're making it. So if I'm fast, I can make this cycle, which is easier than it looks. There are four bonus levels, if I remember correctly. There you go. We'll go through all of them. One of them's an auto scroller, so you know. You can only get so, so much out of it. Three and a half. Alright, so this gem I can collect with a turnip. Which I will do because these cycles just take forever to, you know, actually reach. No, uh oh. Okay, and I will need to turn it for later. Excellent. I've been given Shuli's wholesome joke. Hmm. You ready? No, but hit me anyways. Alright, let me put on my dad voice. <laughs> Hi, children. <laughs> What's the difference between black-eyed peas and chickpeas? Black-eyed peas can sing us a song. Chickpeas can hum us one. <sighs> hi -o! That reminds me, though, I sort of want hummus. I'll put them on the grocery list. 
You can make your own. Grocery list. That's usually what I do. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can make my own grocery list. I do make my own grocery list. <laughs> I know. I know you do. I <laughs> <laughs> okay, CJ, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> I'm tired. You've been hosting for too long. Uh, a little bit, yeah. How long have I been going? I've been this is like five hours. Now. Yeah, you did snap in this. Yeah, but when did I have to get here? Uh, seven? Damn. Yeah, five and a half. I... Plus, I did CJ's prize corner. Yeah, I restreamed that, then I did commentary. <laughs> <laughs> then I did this. <laughs> Listen, me and you I were overworked. I Pokemon yeah. as well. <laughs> me and you were overworked. Yeah. Uh, you know, damn whoever made the schedule. Damn whoever made the schedule. Yeah, no. I think it was Damn Man. Yeah, probably. Yeah, he was, you know, who we named the rival after. That because he made the schedule. He's getting yeah, it's funny. And uh, then Crunchy was the name of the gym shark. Which, you know, checks out. And we named the player character Thickums. Which, you know, checks out. Alright, so if you hadn't guessed, this one is an auto-scroller, because it's in the minecart. Um, but also it's based on Cascade Kingdom, which, I mean, you also would be able to tell if you had played Odyssey, because there's a bunch of Cascades. The music good though. And there you go. Another moon for the count. All right. My nostalgia yeah. for Odyssey is telling me to buy this game. It is a very good game. I would recommend it. It's a it's a category extension. You have to get every single moon in Odyssey plus these four. <laughs> Swapping Captain Toad real quick. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Metro Kingdom is the next one. Yeah. This is Uptown Downtown. Oh wait. So you can go in here and dance with Toadette, which just like cements this as basically the greatest game ever. And then Yellow Sleepy Toad. That's pretty cool that you can dance. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't do much else. Oh, you got out of the way. There you go. This was a great incentive. Why didn't we do this? Uh, cause I only thought about it after and also I didn't actually know how to actually do these levels up until... This is way better Platinum. than get the ice key as B. <laughs> <laughs> that one's interesting though. That like actually requires tech and stuff. Yeah, but we didn't do it. Uh... Really? <laughs> oh, oh you, were you not there? No. Did we forget to do it, or...? No, so in Banjo, if you get the ice key on the file once, that's it. You can't yeah. get it again. Uh, in practice, he practiced the trick and then got it on the... not. It's not the file, it's the cart. So he got it on a different file and then couldn't get the ice key again. Rip. And then he didn't know that. Asmi knew that. <laughs> can I tell you? Can I tell you? I want to make an S Daddy award. I want to make S Dat award show for after S Dat explicitly so I can give Schlongster an award. And I'm not joking. With a name like Schlong Schlongs <laughs> Schlongster, that is the award. I well listen, you know. That the, then he did. He almost broke his damn neck with the with the handstand pushups. It was really, it was really something. I don't mean it in a bad way. I want to give him an award. Can we have him back? Yes. We're almost 100% sure gonna have him back. I'm just gonna let someone else host. <laughs> or you know, if my dying early will make more of you happy. You're getting lonely chained up in the SD basement? We have a basement? That means we have a house. He's your goat? Listen, Kathy. Listen, I want to give him a fucking trophy. I want to give him a statue. 
I want him to have the first S daddy. Okay? We need to work on the name. Yeah, a tiny but, bit. You know, you know, I don't want to give someone a daddy award. Alright, we're at the top of the tower. For the last gen. CJ's in the basement? Listen. It's it's not a basement, it has its it has its own entrance. You know? Do you know what's insulting? You climb the top of the tallest tower, and then you look around, and there's like a taller tower over here. Anyways. Okay, it's not a daddy, like daddy issues, it's dat, S dat. I like how you had to specify issues there. Yeah, well, I couldn't think of anything else. The only other thing I could think of was skill issues. That was I, Uptown Down. Oh, sorry, go for it. No, you're fine. I was thinking of the skull in Halo. I would have been your daddy. It unlocks rare dialogue. There you go. Um, Alright, so this is the last one, which is based on Luncheon. Uh, this is tough. I might not get it first try. We'll try our best, though. Um, we have four toads. We only need two alive, but uh, we, we definitely don't want to lose any early on. Would a better name be the Dockies? That sounds a bit less, you know. You know. No, that was the one thing I was worried about. So that switch is probably the hardest to get. We're getting it though. Did no one like the name Docky? It's it's okay. Well, I'm just, I'm waiting for feedback in chat. More appropriate than S, it's not S daddy, it's daddy. Exactly. S daddies is staying in my mind. Well, listen, you can call the recipients whatever you want, but I'm just doggy. Ah, uh, we lost one. He was a good man. Shh, we keep on missing the, the S, button though. The S doggies? What? Why? This is like seed docks all over again. You people have one track mind. Seed docks next marathon? No, no, no seed docks. Seed dogs. I know we're not doing seed dogs. I'm pretty sure that's just the grass tech starter in the new Pokemon game. I listen, probably. Can you not though? What? The people don't need more motivation. For what? And I know you don't want to even do seed dogs. Oh, we didn't lose one this time. All right, this time for sure. There we go. All right, we did lose two of our brave soldiers, though. Lechonk is a terrible name for an award show, Julie. Really. You're not even... Speed Crocs? That sounds pretty good. No. Australian-based games only? What if, what if we gave out acrylic clocks and we called them the Speed Crocs? That no, sounds good. We'd, cool. we'd have to call them the clockies. Mm. No, we can't do that. Oh. That was the last uh, moon, though. So, you know, if that didn't convince you to buy the game, I don't know what will. It's a fantastic game. You all should buy it. There's also actual DLC to it. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I probably will. It's a good game. That's it for me, though. CJ, any final words? Uh, no, that's it. Thank you, dude, for this uh, great run. Uh, the, the bonus runs are a lot of fun. Thank you to everybody who donated. We are going to take a one last pause to the cars. We're going to pay some bills, keep the lights on. When we come back, you'll be with Cece, and you'll be getting ready for Speed Docs After Dark.